you. Oh uh, yeah, back at you. It's like watching a car crash. Gruesome yet utterly compelling. If I was batting that far out of my league, I'd be singing it from the rooftops too. <laughs> Ari. Aren't the guy ballerinas meant to lift the girl ballerinas? Does mum and dad know you're here? What happened to your face? You get hit with a hockey ball. He doesn't visit, he doesn't call. Now she's a tiny scratch. Maybe I should get beat up more often. Whoa, someone beat you up? Uh, it's no big deal. No, come on. Where'd I find this dirt bag? The bus stop? Hockey fields? Is he on your team? He's a mathlete. Bully nerd? He must be in his species. What are you gonna do? Dance at him? Hey, I can be intimidating. Never underestimate the guns. It wasn't even much of a fight. I just wanted to hang out with you. See, not at all dodgy. <laughs> wow. Katrina? Uh, ben Tickle, her manager. My friend, who needs managing. Well, Mr Tickle, your client and I need some alone time. You've got five seconds. What? Oh, uh, I'm Katrina, but my friends call me Kat. Uh, and I just thought, uh, no, my friend Ben out there. That is how long a casting director will give you. So you've got to know who you are. You've got to know how to walk through the door. You're your own business now. You're Katrina Karamikov. I am. But you need to want this. Because when I believe in an artist more than they believe themselves, well, that hurts, Kat. Uh, I'm sorry. Darling, can you hold for three? Thanks. Right. We've got an audition this afternoon, so this could be the start of a very special and lucrative bond between us. Already? Uh, what's it for? Apparently you've been bullying other kids. They had to see the principal about it. Bullying in such an overused term. So you're one of those guys now? The ones who used to throw my bag into the creek for being a dancer? As if you know what's been going on. You haven't been home for the past six months and I don't even know why. Dad refused to pay my academy fees. He was hoping I'd run back home penniless and needy. So I got a job and I didn't go back home. Your turn. Start talking. If you get a six pack, you're still ballerina boy. It's not cooler. It is a bit cooler. Can't you call them sick? Yeah, I could, but then I couldn't afford to eat. Probably want to watch Step Up for anyway. <laughs> I'll just hang out here. You really don't want to be home right now, do you? Well, I can't leave you here. You might beat up on some poor defenseless... Abigail, did I mention how exceptional your pirouettes were today? The problem is I'm only a C plus. Oh, any topic but school. Thank you. I mean, physically, Christian's an A or an A plus, and I'm only a C or a C minus on a bad skin day. Uh, it says that you should spray that about 30 centimetres away from your skin. Do you think that Christian knows that he could do better than me? Because I'm not pretty enough for him. I think you should spray that thing further away. I would give anything to look like you or Grace. There's just, there's just so much wrong with me. Yeah. Like, you don't have a great boyfriend. You have no idea what you want to do with your life and you're completely untalented. You mean those kind of things? Has it ever occurred to you maybe you don't always need something to work on? There's always something that needs working on. The math loop. Took my place on the hockey team. You got thrown off the hockey team? I get maths tutoring instead. Dad's orders. Since you left, all he does is hassle me. One of my sons would become a doctor. I never thought that he'd put all that on you. I'm dead! 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 I, I think I miss it, dancing. My legs feel weird without it. So you are a dancer. What, are you afraid of not being good enough? Is that it? Yeah. Then just don't think about what happens next. 
You just see this audition and every other, because there will be others, as a chance to dance. It doesn't matter whether it's for a ballet company or to be a cheerleader. You dance because you're a dancer. You know I think you're pretty, right? <laughs> yeah, this tan really suits me. I think I might make it my new look. I might have had a small freak out. You're fine. And then your head just went all... <sighs> it's like, it's this, it's this contentment deficiency. Even if I'm happy, I, I start picking at floors, looking for things to fix. You can't just be happy. Right now, I'm pretty good. Except I'm really self-conscious about my toes. They do not belong in public. And I should be putting in some extra training at the studio. But aside from that, I think that I'm pretty Christian. Because you know you are not going to do this! No! Love you. Ah!